So we're going to continue in our series on hitting evaluations, and we're going to take a look at a swing by Jocelyn Allo, who I think is the best hitter in college softball right now. Let's take a look at her stance first. Take a look at that front foot. we got that slightly open stance, which is a style, and many batters think that they can see the pitcher better with that open stance. And you're going to see later uh, something in her swing also that I think uh, makes that open stance a great idea for her. Second, let's take a look at the knees. Knees are flexed. We've got the knees inside the feet. Notice that our hands are very, very simple. We've got bends in our elbows. We've got a nice, simple bat position. All right, now let's get to the nitty gritty. So when she does her initial move, you're going to see, a, again, very quiet hands. But if you see the beginning of this video, her hands are moving around a little bit. So we want to stay loose. We don't want to be a statue. And you see her moving her hands around to stay loose. Her first move, take a look at this knee kick. This is a terrific idea. Now, where some young hitters go off the rails with this, notice how high her kick goes. Take a look at this back knee. She keeps that knee flexed. She keeps the weight on the inside of her foot. She doesn't rock her hips outside of her frame. So the kick is a great idea, especially for a more mature and a stronger hitter. So she gets that initial backwards move. And then watch as she goes forward. What we talk about is gaining ground with our belly button to the pitcher. While that's happening, watch as her elbows. We talk about a scap load. You'll see uh, kind of, sort of, because this isn't the greatest video of all time. But her back elbow goes up while she squeezes that shoulder blade. That is a key to a great hitter. It allows her to keep her hands back while she is attacking the pitcher with her lower body, her belly button, and her shoulder. So that is a terrific move. Now let's check out what happens going to contact. Notice this back knee. Notice one of the big hit uh, things with great hitters is hip shoulder separation. Notice that back knee moving. So we've got that back knee moving. Now this is a little tough to see but she's got a great back elbow down into the slot. Now, one of the things I think is great, and this was a home run, swings don't have to be perfect. Again, there's, we always try to attain perfection, but we don't have to get it. Now, one of the things that I saw in the swing, notice her front elbow. She does bar out her arm. She will bar out that front arm, but that doesn't seem to matter because she hits this ball out of the ballpark. So again, a very, very simple swing. She's got great uh, separation from her hips and her hands and you're going to see this her front foot's down her front knee is flexed which is terrific hitting and you're going to see this really aggressive movement with her lower half while she's still able to keep her hands back so she's got that back knee started that back hip started and like i said barring out that front arm this is a tremendously gifted young lady who has a tremendous head position that head is right down a contact. Look at that classic L with the back leg. We call this reversing the posture. We attack first, and then when that front foot comes down, she's squared to the plate. Look at that. That's what young hitters should see. When her front foot comes down, her hips are square to the plate. We're not already turned uh, off to the dugout there. We get that back knee going, and we get to contact here. We see the laces to the pitcher. We do not see any bug squashing going on. When that front foot comes down, this is one of my favorite things to say, we see that back heel pop up. That front foot comes down with a soft front knee. That's going to allow her to adjust to off-speed pitches. When her front foot comes down, you're going to see that back heel pop up, which is going to allow her to turn her hips better, and you're going to see her stay behind that front leg. Another thing with her swing, once that front foot comes down, watch her head. Her head stays completely still. She's not sliding forward. That allows her to track the ball exceedingly well. It's hard to hit a moving object when your head is moving while you're trying to hit it. But look at that head. As soon as that front foot comes down and she starts going into that rotation, look at that head position. It did not move. And then chin right on our back shoulder. And look at that. 
Look at that finish completely going through. And another point to make, her front knee straightens out pretty much at contact, and then you'll see it bends. That's long after contact so she can get out of the box. But at contact, you're going to see that front knee pretty straight. And at the great hitter that she is, the first rule of hitting is watch the ball. What a terrific uh, hitter. What a great softball player. One of the best hitters we've ever seen in college softball.